When debugging or troubleshooting a design, one of your most important tools is an oscilloscope. And when you need to use your oscilloscope, you want to focus on the design problem, not on working around limitations with your equipment. But which oscilloscope should you buy? Selecting a mid-range oscilloscope based on the data sheet can be difficult since many appear to have the same specifications and comparable features. This short video will provide a quick comparison of the capability of the Tektronix MSO DPO 5000 series and the Agilent MSO DSO X 4000A series in speeding you through all the stages of debug, discover, capture, search, and analyze. An oscilloscope that performs well in all the stages of debug makes your debugging job easier. Let's look at a common situation encountered when debugging an embedded system. Here, the Tektronix MSO5204 is connected to a pulse train using the TPP1000 passive probe, which ships standard with the instrument and has a 1 GHz bandwidth, 3.9 picofarad input capacitance, and a 300 volt dynamic range. We discover there are intermittent problems with the pulses, specifically glitches and runs. Now, let's capture more information about the signal, such as how often does the runt occur. We will do this by triggering on the runt and then capturing a much longer time span. Let's increase the time span to 2 milliseconds per division. To ensure there are enough sample points to accurately reproduce the shape of the signals, we will also increase the sample rate with the resolution control. Now let's search through the record to see how frequently the runts occur and if there are any patterns to their occurrences. There are a couple of ways to do this. The simplest is to return to the trigger setup and select Mark All Trigger Events in Record. The MSO 5204's built-in search function can automatically search the record for any triggerable event. Here we select Runt Search. The MSO 5204 found seven runs in our 20 millisecond waveform, approximately 3.25 milliseconds apart throughout the record. We can easily zoom in and quickly switch to each occurrence with the wave inspector controls and verify we're seeing similar behavior for each run. Now we have an idea of how often they occur and can possibly trace that to a root cause. To further analyze the problem, we can look at additional information such as measuring the rise time of the first edge after the run in each of the zoom views. If we zoom in farther or out a bit, the measurement is consistent because it's using the underlying acquired waveform data. It's important to know that you can trust measurement results when you zoom in or out. Let's see how the Agilent DSO X 4000A handles all the steps of debugging with the same signal. Here, the Agilent DSO X 4154A is connected to the same signal using the N2894A passive probe, which ships standard with the instrument, and has 700 megahertz bandwidth, 9.5 picofarad input capacitance, and 300 volt dynamic range. We see the same intermittent issues in the signal. Here the Agilent oscilloscope is triggering on the run and we're capturing a 20 millisecond total capture time. Notice the sample rate is now 100 mega samples per second. In the continuous run mode, this is the highest sample rate available. And in this mode, there is no way to adjust the record length to increase the sample rate when needed. Changing to the single acquisition mode enables you to increase the sample rate to 200 mega samples per second which is still far less than the 10 giga samples per second possible on the Tektronix MSO 5204. The MSO X 4154A also has a built-in search function, but it is limited. It allows you to search for runt signals, but not for other search conditions, such as setup and hold violations, logic conditions, or parallel bus conditions. We can see that the instrument found greater than or equal to zero runts in the total 20 millisecond captured waveform. The user manual states that the greater than symbol quote indicates that the measurement may not be reliable. It's curious that the Agilent oscilloscope may be found zero or more runs even though the scope triggered on a run. Recall that the Tech MSO 5204 found seven runs spaced about 3.25 milliseconds apart through the whole record. If you manually search through the Agilent record at 3.25 millisecond spacings, you can find the other runs that the Tektronix MSO 5204 found automatically. Not reliably finding all the runs seems like a serious problem 
if you need to depend on your oscilloscope to show the true characteristics of your signal. For analysis tasks, the Agilent scope also has the ability to measure rise times. The rise time measurement is showing about 20 nanoseconds. But if we zoom in further, we see that the measurement changes to about 16 nanoseconds. The measurement is not consistent as we zoom in and out, and we don't see the same measurement precision as the Tektronix instrument. Agilent's user guide indicates that automatic measurements only use the displayed data points on the screen. So as we zoom in or out, measurements have different data available. That seems like a limitation to making consistent, accurate measurements. When you're choosing a tool as important to your work as an oscilloscope, make sure you get the capabilities you need to make your job easier and more efficient. Tektronix MSO DPO5000 series offers the best set of features to speed every stage of debug. Discover, capture, search, and analyze. Go to Tektronix.com for more information.